Cheers. Uh, welcome back to another Flora and the Novice Explorers video. Thank you for joining us. We hope you're keeping safe and sane during these quite surreal times. As you can tell, the weather in Sardinia is just about picking up because I've taken my hat off and my big white fleece. Yes, today we are talking budgets. We are going to cover how much we've spent during the first six months on our road trip around Europe in our self-converted van, Flora. That's right, in that time we managed to do a little over 7,000 miles and in total we visited nine countries, I think. Nine countries. So that would be England, Scotland, Wales, the Netherlands, <laughs> Germany, Austria, uh, France, Spain, and just into Portugal, but your thumb popped up. So that might be confusing for the viewers, but yeah, we just about hit nine countries in those six months. And I would say that we've had an okay time. I don't know if you've been watching our vlogs and stuff, but it's been all right, and it? Yeah. Nothing more. It's been an adventure. Roll the VT. I'm being sarcastic, by the way. It's been awesome. Roll the montage. So a question we often get asked is how are you funding this trip? People ask if we're doing seasonal work, this, that, the other, and the answer is no. During this six month period, we haven't done any work or earned any money. So we are self-funded. That is to say that we are living off our savings. So we saved a total of 6,000 pounds each, which if you added that up and divided it by a year, that would mean we had 1,000 pounds or 1,000 euros per month to spend. But we wanted a little bit of an emergency fund or pot that we could dip into if we really needed it. So we reduced our monthly budget to 900 euros for the two of us, which then worked out to be around 16 pounds or 16 euros per day, each separately. So we've been keeping tabs on all of our spending and outgoings from day one so that we could check out how much we're spending on what and making sure that we're keeping to our budget. So in the first six months, how much have we spent? Well, the answer to that is €5,483.07. So if my maths are correct, that means that the average monthly spend is €913.84 which is just over our oh, set budget, but so close. Could have been a lot bloody worse, I tell you could that. Could have been. But what I want to know, and what everyone else wants to know is, how does those cost? <laughs> so, but what I want to know, and I'm sure you do too, how does the cost break down? Where has that money gone? Let's roll to the master pie chart where we can see our six categories that we've put our spending into. Oh, I know where the pie chart is. <laughs> Don't, because my legs are aching. <laughs> so we've broken down our spending into six different categories. Food, fuel, facilities, tourism, transport, and miscellaneous. So this pie chart is just to provide an overview of the spending. If you want a more detailed breakdown, we're not going to go into too much detail in this video, but we will do it over on our blog. So if you're interested, there will be a link down in the description below. I think we tend to um, overshare a bit and waffle on a bit too much. So we're just going to go over the basics of where the money went on this trip. So I know I literally just said that we won't go into too much detail and we're not going to, we're just going to have a quick discussion and just point out where most of the money went. Um, again, more information at the blog below, but we're just going to talk about our, what happened. <laughs> <laughs> what happened with our purses. I know what happened. What? Greed and gluttony <laughs> is the biggest killer of the budget, it's, it appears. <laughs> Surprisingly, food amounted to half of our budget, bearing in mind this includes groceries, eating out, coffee and alcohol. The total spend was €2,702.57. We have to remind ourselves that we're not on one big holiday. Up next, fuel. Unsurprisingly, covering over 7,000 miles doesn't come cheap. It's also our heat source. The total spend on fuel, €1,579.83, which also includes our camping gas. Now on to another F, facilities. 
This includes our laundry, campsites, showers, drinking water and electrical hookup, coming in at a total of €491.59. This varies in price from country to country and so does the availability. Transport. This category includes public transport, ferries, parking, bike maintenance and tolls. Coming in at a total of €336.78. Parking is mostly free in Europe and we set the sat-nav to avoid tolls. We can't just drive by these amazing places. It's time for a bit of culture and sightseeing. From tower climbs to gorge walks and the odd museum, our total for tourism comes in at €132.50. We spent the most in Austria as we had to cram our visit into just one week. We regret nothing. Finally is miscellaneous. This is anything from personal care to household items and postcards, which comes to €127.03. We try to only buy the essentials. Something financially that we did find was important to do was actually spend money in the local communities we were staying in, especially if they offer like a free air. I mean, you could just drive into the town, stay in the air for a day or two and drive out and never spend any money but we thought it was important to give back so we often bought food and wine and little bits and bobs here and there just to sort of put something back into the economy and I think um, as a traveller it makes for a much richer experience because you're going to be tasting a lot more local produce. Yes and something that we will remember for a longer time I suppose as well. We hope that sharing our spending and budgeting experiences can help you prepare for an adventure of your own but I think it's important to acknowledge that we could have done it and you could do it a bit cheaper. Mm -hmm. If you have stronger self-control than you and me. Yeah, uh, it helps if you stay in one place for longer, obviously. Yeah, and travel slower. Mm -hmm. uh, you could eat more simply than we have. It's a bit of an indulgence for us and we do enjoy it, but you could spend way less on food. Yeah. Spending less time in big cities and bigger towns can also bring the costs down. Yeah, maybe being way more self-sufficient and not having to visit campsites as often would yeah. help. As always, this isn't really a guide of how much you should be spending or should expect to spend. Everybody experiences completely different. You know. It totally depends what kind of life you're living before you take on this kind of adventure and change your lifestyle which beforehand we weren't really scrimping on anything we weren't particularly conscious of any budgets which we're thankful for and we're blessed that we didn't have any particularly financial constraints really so no, no daily lattes or anything for us <laughs> <laughs> if you know you know so that's it from us today if you found anything that we have said helpful or informative please give us a thumbs up feel free to ask us anything in the comment section below we'd like to know your thoughts too also with the blog post in the video description will be links to all our social media as well if you want to see what we're up to or contact us there if you find it easier um, as always we do our best to respond to everybody and sort of have a nice little chat could be about anything really yeah and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button to receive notifications for when we upload our next video. And at the minute, it's a bit of a mixed bag, so you never know what you're going to get. Yeah, lucky dip with Meg and Cal. Right, that's it for us. We'll see you in the next one. And Teddy Ralph. Oh, yeah. He can't wave. He can't wave, and he hasn't been doing any of the maths. That's all been on me. Although he has got more brain power than the two of us combined. <laughs>